Hi, I'm Colin, and welcome to my science book project. So do you remember the big snowstorm we had last December? Well, our driveway was frozen, so we threw some salt onto it, and the ice melted. So that's what got me thinking. Why does salt melt ice? Hi, my hypothesis is salt has chemicals that heat up whenever it touches water. So when the chemicals heat up, it will be too hot for our ice to form. Let's find out. So, so what the first step of, of finding out how, to, how salt melts ice, we have these bowls are the driveway. We, we, we have to pour pour one and there's two two cups of water in here one and and one of one cup of the water goes in this bowl and one cup of the water goes in this bowl so we so it's time to pour And maybe a bit more on this one, and then it's time to put them in the free. It's time to free, freeze them, freeze, freeze them up, baby, freeze them up. It might take a few hours. Now let's talk about water. Water is H2O, two hydrogen, one oxygen. So we have our two hydrogen and our one big oxygen. Hydrogens are small. They only have one proton and one electron. The electron spins around in an orbit around the proton. Same over here. And, and the oxygen ha has eight protons. And eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Th these electrons spin around in circles and in orbit. So, th so when hydrogen and oxygen come together, it's called a covalent bond. I don't know what it means, but I. But this is what it does. The 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 electrons from from the hydrogen spend most of its time around the the oxygen. So so this side's more positive, and this side's more negative because this side has more electrons and this side has more pro protons so this so side is one big neg positive and this side is one big negative so here's another look at the covalent bonding when the hydrogen and the oxygen atoms come together in a covalent bond they share hydrogen's electron but it's not fair sharing because the electron spends most of its time around the oxygen atom. It's like sharing something with my sister. What? And because the water has two hydrogens, we'll add a second one here. So here's a water molecule. The, this side's negative, this side's positive. It's like a mat. It's like a small magnet. So when you have two of them, they try and stick together. But it's not possible when it's hot out because when it's hot, they, they're flying around in circles. But when, when it gets colder, they start slowing down, slowing down. Until when it gets cold enough, they stick. And that's how ice forms. So here's a simulation of some water molecules. This is warm water, so the molecules are moving too quickly to stick together. But as the water gets cold, the molecules slow down and start to stick together.
forming ice. Let's check. Let's check on. Let's check on. on the dragon. Let's check on the driveway. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful, baby. Check out this driveway. It's hit. Perfect. Now, now you can see see here there's one tablespoon of salt. So you pour the salt into here. Try to make make her and spread it around to make sure everything drop everything to get all the ice. On the driveway, so let, let's see what let's see what uh, let's see what will happen. Let's, let's see what, what what will happen in a few hours, I think. Way in the freezer overnight. Let's see what happened. So you can see, see here, here. This, this is this one's the one without salt. Salt is still frozen, but as you can see at this one, some water's going. So, so that, so this, and this was the salted. So now you see the salt that had melted the ice. We just talked about how, how ice is formed. Well, now we'll talk about how ice is melted, but before that, we need to talk about the ingredients of salt. So, for, so first, you need to know what's uh, the scientific name for salt, sodium chloride, and sodium, and A, and chloride, chlorine, C, L, and for the, wa and for the water, an oxygen and one hydrogen. Which is bigger? Can you tell? Well, of course this. So here's a demonstration. I brought my friend Steve over with with the with a volleyball that that's called, that's that's the salt molecule. As you can see, there the the salt molecules in the way so that they can't stick together. Now we know that how salt melts ice. My app, and we proved that my hypothesis was wrong. Remember, my hypothesis was that that salt has chemicals that can heat up, heat up when it touches water. Well, well, it's actually because the sodium chloride is so bit big, it gets in the way of of the the water molecules, so it doesn't let them stick together. Thank you for watching. Roll credits. The world is a vampire Right on the side and action. What? The, 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 it's okay. Okay. The, now here's a demonstration. I brought my friend Steve over. Quick. Okay, hold on. I'll do it again. And this guy's positive. We're positive that the ice cream truck will come. Are you changing it? No. Oh, uh, so here's our water. So here's and, uh, That's okay. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, All right. They were fine. I. They was found to act. Uh, That's okay.